Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create summer themed word search puzzle using software called Word Search Printer, which you can download from wordsearchprinter.com. Software is compatible with all recent versions of Windows on the PC, including Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Vista and Windows XP. So this is the initial screen of the software. Uh, I click Create New Word Search Project. I have a choice of what kind of word search uh, I'd like to create. I can start from blank, a blank uh, word search or I enter my own words. I can also choose a uh, so predefined list of words like classics, computer science, uh, different uh, events like baby showers, baby, uh, bridal showers, different holidays, 4th of July, Christmas and so on. Basically the idea is to use a list of words for my word search. So I'm going to start from a blank one and enter some words relating to summer. Uh, I start off with a blank screen here, I can enter my words. So let's enter the first word, uh, sunshine is my first word. And it's now created a word search puzzle with that word sunshine in it. It's showing me the solution here. I can make it so um, it uh, previews the uh, puzzle itself without the solution tone. You can see sunshine is not highlighted. I'll keep the, the solution tone so you can see a different uh, location of the words. I can also change the size of the puzzle. Uh, where it will regenerate it, uh, so I can make a very big one, or a very small one, it's like 12 by 12, so it's hopefully quite readable, and if I do update, you'll see it tries different positions, and I can put in different words, and it will generate a new puzzle every time, so maybe we'll put in um, uh, July, uh, August, June, uh, maybe Beach, Bathing, a space here they won't obviously be in the uh, actual grid uh, maybe we'll put a few more we'll put in um, uh, what should we have hot mosquito uh, vacation yep that would be a good one uh, perhaps we will have um, what else could we have relating to summer barbecue and you'll see there's my list, and um, I can keep updating until I'm happy with the layout I like. Another option I have is I have do have options here for changing the fonts and uh, the colours. Um, so, for example, um, uh, if I would like to change the colours of the highlighting, change the background, and so forth, I can use that using the font. And if I go on the puzzle menu, uh, you'll see I have options here for shape and word directions. Word directions allows me to restrict which directions words can be placed in a puzzle. So for example if I'm creating a puzzle for young children I might only choose to use down the page and across the page uh, uh, for perhaps uh, slightly older children I might not uh, use diagonals just use backwards and uh, right to left and then for adults I could use all of the directions. I just turn off the directions I don't want uh, and click OK or regenerate a puzzle that follows the rules. I can also change the shape. And the way that works is basically by turning off the square. So, for example, if I was to try and make this look a little bit more round, perhaps like a, my attempt at drawing a sun, and perhaps the, not the greatest artist in the world, so maybe five like that. But I think maybe I need to. It looks approximately round. I had more time obviously I would uh, do this a bit more carefully but we'll see that we'll make an approximately sunshine shaped summer word search puzzle uh, not a brilliant but I click OK there you still does actually follow that uh, shape and I always want to regenerate it or try and fit it in until it gets a layout that I like uh, okay when I'm happy with it um, what I can do is I can print it out the puzzle the solution in the word list uh, or um, that will print them each one on a separate page directly from the program or if I want to I can use um, uh, these options here where I can copy the uh, puzzle or the solution of the word list in order to post it into a word processor or publishing software so for example if I am creating a magazine or a newspaper I can just publish the word list in there uh, as you can see there are other options here on the edit menu for adding multiple items for deleting items for sorting the items and for managing your word list and once you're finished you can also uh, save your project as uh, or open it so if you want to continue working uh, and that's it the software is called word search printer the website is wordsearchprinter.com it's compatible with all recent versions of windows on the pc 
Um, and there's a free trial version which you can download and try out before deciding if you'd like the full version. Thank you very much. Go to the website, download the web software, try it out, and I hopefully you'll like it. It's called wordsearchprinter.com, uh, and the software is called Word Search Printer. Thank you very much.